Oregon Governor Kate Brown in town. And the governor's visit is focusing on local programs and partnerships that reflect her top legislative priorities. Those priorities, economic development and education. I'm going to stick to this. Career technical education courses in Eagle Point are preparing students for the future. I think it sets us up pretty good for success because it gives you a lot of opportunities to do what you want. Students met with Governor Kate Brown Tuesday morning as she toured the high school's manufacturing certificate program and the career technical education lab. It's really exciting to see the variety of classes the students have access to and the commitment um, and the partnership and the relationships. The governor is placing high priority on making sure all young Oregonians have access to a great education, vying for smaller class sizes and affordable college opportunities. After that, she wants to ensure they have jobs. I'm pleased with the very low unemployment rate. New numbers released this week show Oregon's 3.8 percent unemployment rate is the lowest it's been since records began in 1976. According to the local employment office, it's progress, but there are still thousands without work. Of course, not everyone that's looking for a job has a job. We still have, even with those low rates, 85,000 people un estimated unemployed in Oregon. Rural areas of the state have been slower to catch up, but the governor says by investing in infrastructure, small businesses, and workforce development, it can. Every business that I go to says they struggle to find uh, qualified workers. I want to make sure that every Oregon high school student has access to career and technical ed. The hands-on learning experiences are absolutely key. The governor will wrap up her visit with the Medford Rogue Rotary tomorrow afternoon. Brown is expected to lay out her legislative priorities in education, health care and jobs during her presentation.